What's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping back by my channel. If you're new here, my name's Destiny and I am a part-time reseller, full-time mom to three small children. And today I'm going to be doing, shockingly, another unboxing. I ordered another thread up shoe box. My last two were really good. Um, unfortunately in the last box, I got two pairs of shoes that were dupes. Okay, so I got a pair of Tory Burch, they were not real. And then there was another brand that's very expensive that was also a dupe. So. Um, I had someone reach out to me on my last video and tell me I could contact ThreadUp and get a refund for those shoes, which I would have done. However, I'd had that box for a while and just hadn't opened it. So in this case, if I get something like that again, I will be reaching out to them. But let's hope we get some good stuff today. I have opened the box. I'll show you. It's open, but I have not looked inside yet. I'm trying to strike while the iron's hot because I've gotten some really good boxes lately. This is 15 pair of shoes for $80 plus, I just did not get back exactly where I wanted it. 15, 15 pairs for $80 plus tax. I'm going to go ahead and take this tissue paper off because it gets really loud. All right, so let's get started here. First up is a pair of Converse and they are really interesting. Like they have almost like, you know, overlapping pair of Converse and we see a six on the bottom, so that's probably the men's six, women's eight. I think this one, they're both tied. Okay, so they have two pairs of shoelaces, two tongues, two, like even where the shoelaces go. And it's interesting because even, um, even the logo on the inside is like, you know, duplicated. If you all know anything about these shoes, feel free to let me know in the comments. I am by no means an expert. The reason I keep ordering these besides, you know, having good luck with them is that for one, I don't get to go thrifting as often as I'd like. And two, when I do, I'm not finding the greatest shoes. So this has been a good way for me to learn brands and just to get some shoes at a low cost of goods. All right, let's see here. These have a price tag of $29.99. Looks like probably from Ross or TJ Maxx or something. Um, I'm trying to see what the brand is. It's kind of hard to see. It looks like Pale, Pale Moda maybe. I'll show you all. Maybe you can tell what it is. I'll definitely have to do some research. Even though they're like the bottoms look unworn, the tops look really rough. Like Kind of hard for you to see but it looks like it's been worn a lot on the suede part but then nothing on the bottom so maybe they have them just in the closet or something oh okay this is a brand i've heard becky park talk about and some other resellers these are i don't even know how to pronounce this so i'm not even gonna try but i know it's a good brand or the boots sell well from what I've seen other resellers do. I've never seen a pair of sandals. It looks like these are called the Gypsy in a size 40. Which usually is a 10. A 40 is a 10, but these look like they'd fit me. So let's see. Let's compare them. Yeah, here is next to the size 8 Converse. So I'll definitely have to look at the size chart for those. All right, I see some boots here. They feel nice, but I mean, not like fry quality, but they feel nice. This is called White Mountain. I don't think that's anything special. I think I'll, well, they have some zippers, so I'll try to show you the brand here. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun to show. Fortunately, it does not say on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be, well, maybe right there, you can see it a little bit. It just says White Mountain in there. Um, these are a women's 11. They do have the YKK zippers, so that's a good sign. But I don't see anything. They do have some scuffs, but I think they're actually pretty cute. We're kind of coming out of the boot season. I mean, it's still cold, but I think people are starting to look for sandals. I list things year-round, though, so I don't really care. All right, next. Ooh. Hopefully these are real this time. I know one time I had some Tory birch flip-flops that did not have a size but anyway these are Tory birch again um they don't have a size on the bottom so let me know if that means the flip-flops are fake i'll look them up 
course. But um, not seeing a size right off the bat. They look small though. Um, let's look at the Converse that are a size eight. Well, maybe they're like a seven. All right, we got some sneakers. I think these are just like the Walmart brand. Um, let's see. These are women's five. Isn't that what that symbol is right there? Like what they sell at Walmart? They're actually kind of cute. Um, but unfortunately, like the toe is kind of peeling and stuff. So if they have any resale value at all, it's pretty much gone if they're in rough shape. Ooh, these are kind of cool. These are coach. And they're like a loafer, but with a grippy bottom. And they are... Okay, some bad news is they're kind of crackling on the inside, but... Um, well, let's see if this one's really better. Women's six and a half. What I meant by crackling was, if you can see right here, when I bend it back, it's kind of doing that. Yeah, it's doing that all over, so if you can see. I mean, it's not flaking yet, so maybe it'll be okay. I think they're still sellable. They're really cute, and, um, I mean, I'll still list them. It's weird, though, because look at the bottoms on these. I wonder if that's just from sitting in someone's closet. We have some Adidas sneakers. Here's the bottom. And they look like that. I am by no means a sneaker head or anything like that. These are a women's seven. And it says Alpha Bounce. They do have, I guess they got them at TJ Maxx because here's the price tag of $50. Um, so I'm guessing they've not been worn. I don't know. It looks like it says something on the inside, like deuce or something to that effect. No, I don't know what that says. It just says alpha bounce everywhere I can see, but they do have some yellow on the sole. I don't know. This one has some Sharpie on it and it's weird because it almost looks like they've been worn because I don't know. Maybe someone is going to wear them a couple times, then take them, take them back or something. All right, let's see if we can find something that matches here. Okay, we have some Jessica Simpson heels. Very interesting. I'm not going to knock Jessica Simpson because it actually sells usually really fast for me. Usually not like for a great amount of money or anything, but... Not bad. These do have some wear. You can see right here. Like there's some the faux leather is scraping off. And these are a women's nine. But the toes don't look too bad. I'll still list these as long as I don't find anything. I mean, I think they're so cute. It's funny, all these shoes, like the bottoms, well not these exactly, but a lot of the bottoms look new, but then the tops look really rough. Oh ooh. look at these. Sorel with the hidden wedge that's really in right now um these are a size six really cute sorrel booties i love the hidden wedge that's so cute and then the bottoms look really good they probably need to be wiped off because i do see some dirt and things on these but these are really nice as always, I didn't say this at the beginning, I will try to put, as you've probably seen already, the comps on the screen. So, this is called Schultz. It is a brand I've never seen before. Um, the bad part is, this right here is looks to be pretty stretched out, so that's not great or ideal. That does not match. Right, here's the other one. Yeah, this side's much better. I mean, I'll still look these up because they might be worth something. They're kind of cute. Espadrille wedges. Platforms, I guess, more than wedges. And USA size eight and a half. Made in Brazil. We have some more booties. These are Sam Edelman. Which, um, I'll tell you what size they are first if I can find it. US 8 
Here's what Sam Edelman looks like on the bottom. These are just a cute little everyday boot if you wanted. Yeah, they look fine. Sam Edelman sells pretty fast for me, but it, it does not sell for a lot all the time. Uh, I found some more tissue paper, so I'm going to grab that out really fast. Okay, we have some um, thong sandals. These are just Arizona Jinko size nine, but in really good condition. So I might be able to squeeze like 10 bucks out of these. I think they're cute. Got two pair left. These are Sperry. This is not what I think of when I think of Sperry. It's like a chuck a boot. And these are do do, a women's eight. These look really good condition. Don't see anything wrong with them. The bottoms look really nice. So yeah, hopefully those do good. Seems like maybe this is how it is for you too, but like either it sells super fast, Sperry does, or not at all. These look like they could be something good. This is my last pair, and it's a pair of boots. And it's called Siren. Okay, this, is really this is what the inside of it looks like. That's really cool. It is peeling a little bit in some places. It's called, maybe it says on the bottom. Uh, Mark Nason. It's called Siren by Mark Nason. Here's the can see that. It doesn't say the siren part, but these are really pretty boots. Um, it says made in Italy, eight and a half. Very interesting. Um, it's got this cool zipper that says Mark Mason on it, which makes me think it might be something good. But I will obviously have comments on the screens for you. So yeah, here's my receipt. $80 for 15 pair plus tax. I think it's closer to $90. So anyway, you guys let me know what you thought in the comments of this box. Tell me if I should order another one. I don't think I should, but I probably will. And let me know if you guys are enjoying seeing these unboxings. I'm thinking about once I get through some of my death pile, which I'm going to photograph stuff right after this, that I'd like to do a dead unbox because those are my favorite. But anyway, thanks you guys so much for sticking with me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please if you'd like to subscribe, like the video, I'd appreciate it. You guys have a great night.